Welcome back friends. Welcome to another video tutorial from Shomo's Biology. And in this video lecture, we are going to talk about two important terms that you probably heard a lot. One is the loss of function mutation and is the gain of function mutation. So what are these loss of function and gain of function mutations that we usually read? And what are the relation of this loss of function mutation and gain of function mutation with proto-oncogene and tumor suppressor gene and what are the relation of all these terms with cancer because this video is a part of cancer biology lecture now mutation in any kind of change in the gene or the dna that leads to the alteration of the protein synthesis and this alteration can leads to most of the time destruction of the cell that is a bad effect in the cell in some case it provides some positive effects now in, in this case we are focused on the bad and negative effect that is cancer. So the idea is very simple for us to understand from the beginning. We have a normal cell, healthy normal cell smiling. That cell will be converted into a very sad cell because it is cancerous. Okay. So, you can say normal cell into cancer cell. This is the conversion that we are interested in. And this conversion is caused by mutation. Different types of mutation in the gene of a normal cell. Now, the gene of a normal cell is modified little bit. Let us say here. Due to this modification, normal cell converted into the cancer cell. Now, normally there is not only a single mutation enough to convert a normal cell into a cancerous cell. It requires multiple rounds of mutation, multiple proteins to be mutated and their functions to be altered to finally convert the functionality of a normal cell into the cancer cell. Because what happened in cancer cell is proliferative cell division, uncontrolled cell growth and the apoptosis or the cell death pathways are prevented and stopped. As a result, the cell continues to grow and form tumor. And not only they form tumor, but also they get two important characteristics, metastasis and angiogenesis, which help this cell to thrive and also move from one place, from one tissue of a body to the other tissues of body. Now here, we will look at few important proteins, few important genes which make those proteins which are involved in the process of cancer. Now, there are few proteins, if I write them down here with this color, there are few proteins. Overexpression of the protein leads to the cell growth, thus leads to cancer. Okay? And the down regulation of these proteins will lead to cell death okay and there are other proteins if i draw it here now oh, let me erase that otherwise i don't think you can see so the death uh, pathway i should write it here it will be down regulation cause death and the other set of proteins, oh, should place it in the middle. Upregulation of their activity leads to the cell death, while downregulation of their activity. will cause the cell growth. So, these are the two different types of proteins that we find in our body. And there are genes, let us say gene A and let us say gene B. There are genes that codes for those proteins. So, now remember, this is a protein. If we make more of this protein, it turns a cell into a cancerous cell. On the other hand, this is protein B, this is protein A. 
so protein b if you make a lot of protein b it ultimately helps the cell to die less of protein b production can cause cancer so if cancer is our goal to understand there is protein a over production of protein a gives cancer and less production of protein b cause cancer right so what we say for those proteins and for the genes associated with those proteins over production means gain of function gain of function means the protein or the gene gets its higher functionality so their functionality is increased inside the cell why and how the functionality of a protein will increase if the protein production is increased so as we are creating the value of plus means the production of protein a is increased so it gets gain of function so we call it gain of function mutation of that gene a that allows to produce more and more protein a which turns a cell into a cancerous cell so gain of function mutation for few proteins turn the cell into a cancerous cell and the proteins and genes associated with the gain of function mutation that turns a normal cell into a cancerous cell are known as proto oncogene or oncogene so this will be known as oncogene so what happens when oncogene gets a gain of function mutation it turn a normal cell into a cancerous cell now if you look at other hand the protein b down regulation of protein b production gets us cancer so these are some other proteins inside the cell if they are not produced in proper amount in that case it is turning a cell into a cancerous cell because this proteins deal with death so if there is lot of this protein b it will convert the cell it will in involve the apoptosis or programmed cell death pathway that will kill the cell so it will not allow the cell to overgrow and cause cancer these proteins are known as tumor suppressor proteins and the gene code them known as tumor suppressor gene tumor suppressor gene or tsg right so this tumor suppressor gene gets a down regulation of protein production it turn into cancer cell so if the proteins are produced less we call it loss of function mutation because due to a mutation in tumor suppressor gene it is incapable of producing the proper amount of protein b so less amount of protein b are prepared compared to the normal level so we call it loss of function mutation so for a tumor suppressor gene loss of function mutation convert a normal cell into cancer cell and for a oncogene gain of function mutation can convert a cell into a cancer cell that is the idea and few example of this genes if i tell you oncogene example is mic ras there are many examples these are the two such tumor suppressor gene example is p53 p21 right now connect this dot with the earlier study that we have done with cancer biology so these cells this proteins p53 p21 they are required for controlling the cell growth so if they are not produced enough then there is a chance the cell will proliferate and grow uncontrollably while if there is a lot of this ras and mic mutation that make hyper production of ras ras mic and all this there is a tendency that cell will overpopulate and grow okay so that in a sense is loss of function mutation gain of function mutation and the relation of loss of function mutation and gain of function mutation with tumor suppressor gene and oncogene with cancer thank you for watching if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that share this video with your friends thank you